I back at you with another quick hit. I Lord willing, this will be edifying. I want to give all honors, praises, glory. Belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Mohave Kakwadash. Name of the heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit. And to the few, you know, the very, very few brothers and sisters that are listening in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be based on, right? The Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Lord, when it won't be too, I want to get these lessons out. We need to get these. We need to get these lessons out. We're going to start at Genesis forty-nine and start at eight. Judah, thou he whom thy brethren shall praise, thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Key thing: thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Right. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Why? Because Judah, that's where the royal line is from David, from Solomon to Yahweh Shai. That's that royal line. Okay. And it says, Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. So who are the father's children? Remember, was it Joseph? You had the lion. Was it Joseph or Jacob? He had what? many sons right and judah was what not the head but the royal line is from judah reuben was the head verse 9 judah is a lion's whelp from the prey my son thou art gone up he stooped down he couched as a lion as an old lion who shall rouse him up so judah is represented as the lion not benjamin because a lot of rastafaris are like to say lion lion no 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 the lion is Judah, right? The lion represents Judah. The lion represents the Messiah. And he's also known as a lamb as well. He stooped down. He couches a lion as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? Because once Judah gets roused up, every other tribe gets roused up. Now, Judah is known as the centrator. Anything Judah does, anything, and Judah would be known as the so-called Negro. So anything Judah does, the rest of the tribes follow. So when it comes to marching, right, doing protest, all the nations follow, all the tribes follow. When it comes to style, right, all the tribes follow. Anything, like, Judah is definitely a centrator. And a lot of the musicians were also um, the same from Judah as well, I believe so. And it says, check this out, the sceptre shall not depart from Judah. What's a sceptre for? Rulership. So that sceptre, shall not depart from Judah, all right? And that sceptre represents rulership. You have a sceptre for rulership. Nor lawgiver from between his feet. So the law and the rulership begins with Judah until Silo come. What does Silo mean? Silo means peace. So in other words, Solomon, Yahweh, what's, what's his name? Shalaman, what does Shal Shal Shalawan mean? Right? It means peace. Right? So Solomon, which is Yahweh Shai, is known as the Prince of Peace. Okay. And it says, check this out. The sceptre shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Silo come and until him shall be the gathering of the people. So all the nations are going to gather. How can we prove that? Excuse me, just a minute. Go to Philippians. Quickly go to Philippians, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. This Philippians 3. And so lucky about the noise as well, but you're going to get it anywhere where I go, it's going to be nice. But let's go to Philippians, Baba Kasha. 3. Actually, go to 2. Remember, all nations are going to bow down. 2, you have a shine. See if we can get this. This is Philippians, right? Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Check this out, Philippians 2, and we're going to start at 10. That at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Right, so every knee is going to bow, every tongue is going to confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord of Lords and Kings of Kings. Every knee. So we're going to go back to Genesis 49, and... 11 
Bounding his foul onto a vine, his ass cold onto the trace vine. That's the donkey, right? He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. So this describing the Messiah. How he looks. Okay. It's describing him. Alright. So now we went to that. What else? What else? What else? What else? Revelations 5. Come on now. Come on. Go on Revelations 5. Where should we start? Where should we start? Where should we start? We're going to go with Revelations 5 and... Should we go to all of it? You know, go to Revelations 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Key thing. Judah. Alright? And Jehu Judah is not the head tribe. Alright? The root of David, oh, it says it, the root of David, because he comes from that same lineage. Have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven souls thereof, because the book was closed. Read Daniel's 12 and 4. It said no man was worthy to open the book. Nor to look upon it. Right? Nor to look upon it. Okay? So no man, no woman was able or worthy to look upon that book. Except from who? Yahawashai. Okay. So we're going to continue Baba Kasha. And it says, check this out. Have prevailed to open the book. And to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and the four beasts in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. As it had been slain now. Remember he just said, you know what? Lion of tribe of Judah, but it also said a lamb. So Yahabashah is known as a lion and a lamb. Right? I'm going to say that again. Yahabashah is known as a lion and a lamb. Two different animals. The lamb represents um, a kid, right? A baby lamb. And he was known as the sacrifice for the nation of Israel. And you also have the lion, because our Lord is very austere right and a lion is austere by the way right and because he's a king and a lion is a king of the jungle okay and it's just like i'm just getting excited right now and it says baba kasha check this out and i behold love in the midst of the throne and the four beasts in the midst of the elders to a lamb as it had been slain having seven horns and what and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Okay. And who was that? The Heavenly Father. Yahabashah took the book out of the Heavenly Father's hand. Okay. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials of elders, which are the prayers of the saints. So the angels, they're praising Yahabashai in the throne in the spiritual realm the lion of the tribe of Judah it's not Benjamin it has nothing to do with the Jamaicans and Rastafari they just say lion yeah the lion of the tribe of Judah okay and it says check this out and having every one of them harps golden vase of oldest which are the prayers of the saints okay and it says and they sang a new song saying right Thou are worthy, check this out, to take the book and open the seals, because this book was sealed thereof. For thou was slain and has redeemed us. What was slain? The lamb was slain. Yahweh is also known as a sacrificial lamb. And has redeemed us to our power by the blood of out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. So we're also redeemed through Yahweh. This is how important this is, right? And has made us unto our power, kings and priests. Woo! Come on now. Kings and priests, man. So what made kings and priests through the sacrifice of the lamb? But remember, he's also known as a lion as well. Okay. And kings and priests, and we shall reign upon earth. So through that, we're also going to reign upon earth. That's why Yahweh is known as kings of kings, lord of Lords, right? Because he's gonna reign over us. 
There can only be one king on the throne. There can't be two kings. Oh, actually, it says, you know, he shall make us kings. And, you know, yeah, we're going to be, yeah, you know, we are going to be. But it's, they, there can only be one like, major king. And that's going to be Yahabashai. Okay. Kings and queens upon earth. And that is Yahabashai. Okay. So with this, I hope this was edifying. We're going to jump on to the next lesson. And until the next one. Shadow arm to the hopeful elect. Shadow arm. <laughs>